To understand the Rottweiler lineage, we must go back to the amphitheaters of Rome, where dogs were used for fighting large cats. A typical fight might include three dogs of the Mastiff type versus a single lion. To provide entertainment for the Roman noble classes, only the best and most carefully selected dogs were permitted to appear in the amphitheaters. Similarly, the Roman legion demanded fierce, strong dogs with good herding qualities to accompany them on their military missions abroad. In this setting, the early Roman mastiff type canine traveled across the Alps into southern Germany and there was bred with indigenous canines such as the Bernese mountain dog, the Appenzeller, and the Entelbuck. The Rottweiler originates from a town in southern Germany of the same name. In German, Rottweiler refers to a place of red roofs, and it can be observed that the town of Rottweil has many red terracotta roofs, a craft originating in Italy and brought across the Alps with the Roman dogs. This breed was known for its herding ability, speed, guarding ability, strength, and most of all, intelligence. The Rottweiler was nicknamed the butcher's dog because it helped to herd livestock, pull the butcher's cart to market, and returning from the market, the dog carried gold pieces in a pouch around its neck, therefore protecting the butcher from highwaymen and thieves. In Texas, State Representative Al Edwards supports breed-specific legislation, HB 1096, that would ban Rottweilers and pit bulls in the entire state. Why is such legislation proposed in the first place? Because of their reputation as strong, fierce fighters, certain canine breeds have become popular with drug dealers, gang members, and residents of urban neighborhoods where there is a perceived need for protection, and the deterrent qualities associated with large, strong breeds such as Rottweilers and Pit Bulls. Additionally, it can be said that people who own these dogs, for the wrong reasons, antisocial reasons, encourage the aggressive or defensive traits that have been bred into these canines for generations. Similar legislation is pending in various other states, and many insurance companies already refuse to offer homeowners insurance where certain canine breeds are known to be in residence. In contrast to these discriminatory practices, the president of the American Temperament Test Society Incorporated, ATTS, has stated that pit bull breeds pass at a rate that is slightly higher than the national average for all 190 breeds tested. The conclusion then is that breed prejudice may be more a function of the predisposition or temperament of two-legged canine handlers than of the four-legged creatures in question. Looking forward from the time of the Roman amphitheaters to the present, we can see a pattern of canine use and abuse that would suggest quite disparate roles and reputations for the early mastiffs and their descendants. The Romans who used these dogs for blood sport can be viewed in much the same way as the modern day men who support pit fighting, pit bulls and similar breeds, and the drug dealers and macho types who own and train these dogs for their fear provoking qualities.
It is the minority, then, who give certain dog breeds a bad reputation. It should be understood that the vast majority of Rottweilers and Pit Bulls and other dogs descended, for example, from the Roman Mastiff dogs, live in peace with their environment and continue to provide valuable services to their human masters. Thank you.